I am here with Jim Widella. Jim is with Bolo. He's the marketing director for the museum. And Jim, one word, we're talking about Titanic today. You got some uh, some cool props from the yeah. latest exhibit. Tell April 14th is the anniversary of when the Titanic hit the iceberg. Okay. So we're excited to announce on, on April 14th, we'll have our new exhibit called Titanic, a tribute to the tragedy. So there's a couple of Titanic museums, um, but we're trying to go a different angle. We don't want to just show you a chair from the deck or Leo Leo's underwear sure. or something like that. Uh, we want to go with the emotion and we want to tell the story to honor the people. So we spent over $5 million putting together this exhibit to not only tell the story, but present a tribute to the era. So it's everything from the fashion. So you have first class, second class, you know, okay. third class clothing. Um, to the people. Jack and Rose weren't real people. Uh, the heart of the ocean necklace wasn't real, but the, it was based off of the Hope Diamond, which was real. So we have a car that was owned by the woman that owned the Hope, Hope Diamond, and that alone is insured for like a million dollars. It's amazing. And the scene in the movie where Jack and Rose jump in the back seat and redecorate or whatever, however you want to say it, um, there was two of those cars that was a French prototype. So one went down in the ocean. We have the only other one in existence. It's also an amazing piece. And then just a tribute to the story of the ship. There was a lot that led to the ship hitting the iceberg. So stupidity, negligence, and even little things like binoculars. These go mm -hmm. up in the lookout tower. So the guy that normally had the key, they did a shift change, dude left with the key and left the binoculars locked up. So if they had the binoculars, they would have seen the iceberg, and they would have saved like 1,500 okay. people. So a ton of stories on many different levels that you get to go. So obviously Volo more than just the greatest car collection in the country. <laughs> yes.